Tomorrow, Republicans in Kentucky are going to head to the polls to decide their nominee for governor in the party's first major primary since last year. Now, former U.N. Ambassador Kelly Kraft is facing off against State Attorney General Daniel Cameron in a 12-candidate field. Yeah, the race poses high stakes for Republicans in the state as they look to unseat Democratic Governor Andy Bashir. It will also be a test of former President Trump's influence in the GOP. Joining us now to discuss all this is NBC News senior reporter Jane Tim. Jane, always great to have you join us. Good morning. So, Last night, Emerson College did release new polling here for Kentucky's primary. This latest poll shows Daniel Cameron's lead over Kelly Craft, growing from six points, here it is on your screen, to more than 15 points just in this past week. What does this say about the state of the race ahead of tomorrow's primary? What are you looking out for? You know, polling can always be wrong, but Definitely. I think what you're seeing <laughs> is that this is a candidate who is pulling ahead. And mm -hmm. Cameron's a proven candidate. He won in 2019 on the top of the ticket. The Republican governor lost to this year. So you, you know that he's somebody who can win even when the top of the ticket, which informs these down ballot races, isn't going his party's way. Uh, he, he was the first uh, Republican attorney general in 70 years in Kentucky. Uh, definitely somebody who, who clearly has impressed people in his state and I think is pulling ahead here. I'm pretty sure he's feeling pretty good going into this. Yeah. Let's talk about the Trump factor here because Trump has endorsed Cameron. I think I saw maybe Ted Cruz was campaigning with the opponent there, Kraft, a little bit ago. But does this say anything about Trump's influence and sway in the Republican Party right now, especially in light of the E. Jean Carroll verdict and the charges here in New York? Has any of that impacted his power within the party? Well, not according to Cameron. Uh, let's listen to what he actually said right after that verdict about his endorsement. Mr. Cameron, Mr. Trump has endorsed you in this race. What is your reaction to the verdict and how do you now feel about his endorsement? I'm honored to have uh, President Trump's endorsement. I do know that uh, Alvin Bragg in New York has weaponized the political system uh, and the judicial system uh, to try to destroy uh, President Trump, but he has endorsed my campaign for governor. He is a fighter and I am a fighter and going to continue to fight for the working men and women of this commonwealth. Quite a dodge in the Carroll case itself, mm -hmm. uh, but most people in that <laughs> that room want the Donald Trump endorsement. They don't really want to talk about Eugene Carroll's suit. Got it. All right, Jane. Thanks so much for your reporting. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.